Well, veterans facing invisible wounds on the court. Starting today and through the weekend, the Military Basketball Association is holding its regional playoffs at Temple University. CBS Philadelphia's Josh Sanders shares how the outlet addresses the stigma surrounding mental health in the military. Finish on three. One, two, three. Finish. Inside Temple's McGonagall Gym, head coach at the Montfort Point Marines, Joseph Men's Cole, is coaching more than just a game. I kind of know their hardships, and I know what basketball does for them. Hardships this 25-year Marine Corps veteran knows often go unsaid. Walking up the middle of the court, right? It's just me giving back. I think it allows these young players to really fight through adversity, and it also shows them a way to tra transverse those things or some of those uh, issues that they may have off the court. His team, one of 31 teams in the Military Basketball Association. This weekend, competing in the league's Atlantic Coastal Regional Playoffs. Since 2017, it's been a safe haven for more than 1,000 active military and veteran players. Players like Sergeant Germán Cattenhead and Marine Corps veteran Aaron Douglas. There's been times where, you know, coming from work has been rough, or, you know, you can even have family problems. If you step on that court and you're around your brothers and sisters, it gives you that breath of fresh air. Mental health and suicide are known to impact military veterans. It gets a, it gets a lot of stress off your shoulders. I can speak for myself. Uh, um, I suffered from a uh, adjustment disorder, um, getting out of the Marine Corps after eight years. According to the most recent report from the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, suicide was the second leading cause of death for veterans under 45 years old. Some of the post-traumatic injuries that they may have had, uh, this league serves as an outlet for them. Commissioner Mike Myers says no NBA players or coaches have lost their lives to suicide. Each game makes a difference. If you're, if you're out there lonely or you need something to do or you need somebody to talk to, um, the NBA has no resources. Veteran Affairs now partnering with the league, using the game as a way to focus on the invisible wounds veterans face. Josh Sanders, CBS News, Philadelphia.